With tensions at Columbia University's campus increasing over pro-Palestinian student protests, University President Nemet Shafiq faces mounting calls to resign. Just four months after the presidents of Harvard and the University of Pennsylvania stepped down over claims their campuses fostered anti-Semitism. College protests took off after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared war on Hamas as retaliation for the militant group's October 7 assault on southern Israel. And while the vast majority of protests have remained peaceful, some have sparked rage over an alleged spread of anti-Semitic language. Protests popped up again this month, as Israeli forces face warnings from Western leaders over a planned ground invasion of southern Gaza, where displaced residents have sought refuge since the start of the war. Those protests prompted Colombia officials to cancel classes on Monday and switch to a hybrid schedule for the remainder of the semester after 100 student protesters were arrested at a campus encampment. Protests at Yale led to nearly 50 students' arrests, while protests at the University of Pennsylvania prompted Penn officials to ban a pro-Palestinian student organization over noncompliance. Shafiq released a statement amid growing campus tensions Monday saying she was deeply saddened by the intimidating and harassing behavior on our campus, while claiming those tensions have been exploited and amplified by individuals who are not affiliated with Colombia to pursue their own agendas, though she did not name any people specifically. New York's Republican congressional delegation demanded Shafiq resign in a statement Monday claiming Shafiq failed to put an end to an unsanctioned mob of students and agitators in incidents of despicable anti-Semitic harassment and calls for violence and terrorism against Jewish students. Senator John Fetterman D. Paw, also said in a post on X, do your job or resign. Billionaire New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, a Columbia alumnus, also criticized his alma mater and pulled his financial support, citing its handling of pro-Palestinian protests on campus and calling the situation a time of crisis. Former Harvard President Claudine Gay resigned from her post in January just over a year after she was named the Ivy League's first black female president, though she had faced heavy criticism over her handling of student-led pro-Palestinian protests as well as allegations of plagiarism in her academic work. Among her critics were a pair of billionaire donors, including hedge fund manager Bill Ackman, who led the charge for Gay's ouster, and investor Len Blavatnik, who paused his donations to the university. Former University of Pennsylvania President Liz Magill also resigned amid criticism particularly after her congressional testimony, when she told a House committee that calls for the genocide of Jewish people would violate university policy depending on the context.